Okay, folks, basically, if you watch the data on the last one, I, I don't know. I'm sorry about the sound, basically, but uh, something happened, and we kind of probably more than likely know what it was. It wasn't really, and what I get mad about is then people freak, okay? So it really wasn't much. It was just the idea that I was showing you that there's just a heap of asteroid material and comet material or any material from space flying around our sky way the hell out. As you'll see, there was no sound, but you can see the massive distance of IU. But we're seeing this stuff down here in nighttime sky, and also that was a picture of a cloud, okay? That was cloud cover and then a wild stars or something burning through the cloud cover. And I don't know if that's why they pulled the sound on that last one. And, you know, we know this is the meatball, and this is the freshest, not the freshest I got, because we'll be able to go down the slider over there and find the freshest shot. But check out the sun and the super giants lighting that massive mofoler up, because that mofoler is big. And they, that is right there, and you can keep downloading all my videos here and save all this, and that's the meatball, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever it's made out of, it's no internal camera flare, and when they have ops or dipshits with the whoever, and we know that Kerasoft is, and we love it on the military side, and even on the civilian side too, but the idea that when they start trying to cover up actual scientific data being shared on the internet, so that someone can look at it and they start messing with stuff. It's pretty crazy. So anyway, the sun and the super giants and the sun's flaring like crazy. But now it is. The sun is calm right now. And I'll see if I got solar artists still up for the data and stuff like that. The sun is quite calm. But now this happened on the first. Okay. So this was action on the first. This is three days old. Okay. So uh, like I say, and also I showed you if you watched the, the last video I just did, didn't have any sound because I, but I, I'm not going to waste my time. You got the data on, and it is very rare, like I've been mentioning before, that all that asteroid material that we're getting around uh, our nighttime sky, and then the weirdness of some star or something or a grouping of stars. Now that was Betelgeuse and all that stuff like that. You've seen the map. If you watch the map in the video that didn't have any sound, they knocked the sound down. I didn't not knock the sound down. I didn't do that. Okay, so we should have sound on this video. Uh, I'll double check it before I upload it, and I'll, this is that's why it's going to be pretty fast. I'll just show pictures data here from. Uh, so we've got that, and then we'll go to the magnetics, I guess. And there's the meatball; you can't miss it. It's right there. Okay. Uh, it's huge, and as you can see, that's Venus. And I'm not sure if this is Mercury over here, but I don't believe it is because they're not showing this. So there's a good chance that, like I say. Uh, somewhere in a V that we know that uh, Mercury is pretty much a level with Venus on all these shots normally. So not exactly, but pretty close to the same level over here that it's not in it possibly. Okay, So making a V, so if you imagine that maybe Mercury is here just out of the shot, Okay, somewhere along this latitude in space, massive miles ladies and gentlemen, uh, you make a V backwards and this is out our back door. Okay, so this is going back towards the sun. We've know if you've known, you watch all the videos. This has been moving to the right. It's going now. Does it take and go back left, or does it go back up to you, Neptune, Uranus, and stuff like that? Because that's up our anus, Uranus. This is all out our back door, in the dark of space. Because you see the darkness here, and then the sun lights up this side of Venus and so forth, and the CME action there. Uh, which is a little bit less relevant, but the idea you still see the action in space of all that CME action there. So we'll go midway up and give you a shot somewhere and see if we still got CME action coming off the, the sun and the super giants there to the right, off the meatball. And basically just giving this, so the idea that you got the sound to show you what was going on on the last video, uh, just basically was saying that, you know, we're out of the w fall solstice. So all the asteroid material that we're getting out there is basically out of season so and this is the meatball and there you go and basically i guess we'll just go and that is cme action you know coronal mass ejection kind of a dry one it looks like as far as massive flame heat it, you know it's still visible as hell but that's what that all is and then we'll just basically go back to the original one because we have somewhat of a flare that you can see that, that it's actually the flare and then this here is the old huge cme and it's traveling through space and lighting up and propagating all over the meatball there. Okay, and we see Venus, and like we say, la latitude-wise, in, in the deep, massive miles of space, Mercury's somewhere over here to the left, okay? 
So the idea you make a V somewhere here with Mercury here to the left with Venus and Earth is somewhere in this shot. If that's us here, who knows? Okay, but no matter what, this is the meatball out our flipping on our Earth's back door, ladies and gentlemen, because the sun's over this way, brightening up Venus like I've always been telling. You know, we you all pretty much realized and known that that the sun and the supergiants over here to the right is bright on this side of Venus, just like we've show, I've showed you all in my videos. You watch them all, and you'll really lie, realize. I mean, if, I mean, most everybody that comes there and looks at the videos, the majority of people know it. I don't know about people that have came and, and, and discovered what's going on out there. And NASA don't want to talk about it, and like we, like I keep mentioning, and I think that's why they might be putting the kibosh to me a little bit. Like I say, my, uh, it doesn't matter. Earthquake Live will upload again somewhere. I'll re-upload it. I've tried to upload a couple times, and it just won't upload. I can't get Live Earthquake, and it might be down. Live Earthquake might be down somehow. They might be having technical difficulties. Who knows? Now, also, if you look in the telemetry that I showed you in the last bit, I'm not going to waste my time going into it on Solar Artists. I don't think I've got it up. Uh, the, the idea, the factual is that there's some telemetry that's messed up and uh, so because also the Navy shots one two and three either they're not getting telemetry or it's blacked out because it's totally they're showing the picture in the time but it's total black window so that's why and not it's not just recent I mean it is just recently on that I believe but cause I haven't looked at last go one two and three the black shots from Navy for a while uh, but right now they're showing the shot but it's black okay it's like that there's nothing there. Uh, is the meatball in the way of the shots? And they can't and we can't see the sun from the direction of what where uh, stereo A ahead and stereo B behind. And because these are all ahead and behind. So, you know, core two A is a camera that's on sat on one of the satellites, and they might, you know, secretively they might have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten nine satellites and they're going to be 10 possibly or at least there's going to be for damn sure three satellites okay but we all know that it always is core a is a head and then core one is a b behind shot core two a is in a head shot core two b is a behind shot uva U -E -V -I, a is a head and same thing as B is behind and A is ahead and B is behind. And then you look, at, you go to those maps like I've showed you and watch my videos and you can go, I think I even have a link there somewhere, but you can just research out Soho. Go to Beacon, research Beacon Soho. Beacon, S-O-H-O, -O, and then you'll, they'll have a where, where is it, uh, Soho, where is it? And you click that and you'll get a daily map. So... There's your wild CME action out in space, and the and like I say, that Lasco uh, uh, one, two, and three, the Navy shots is blacked out right now, and I presume and assumed it's black. I mean, they're giving us an actual black shot, like almost like space up here, but no stars. So it might actually be the flipping meatball here blocking that with shots direction-wise that they get to look at the sun right now. I'm not sure, you know, but it's not going to block the sun and the super giants out from giving us light. It just might be one of the shots. And Bino never messes with you folks. I'm telling you the streets right here. And you can see the clock running. You see the clock running, and that's all they're showing is black shot. Okay, and I highlighted it. I don't know if you can see it better in the recording or not. And then we'll go ahead and we'll plop two in there on the address. You can usually go to them pretty fast. And you're just going to get black. Okay, so something is... And I'm not saying for sure. It could be just telemetry feeds, because like I said... If I go to Solar Artist, also there basically there's some telemetry feed action that's been in and out for a while. Okay, but the sun is calmer right now. Even though it's doing that big thump beat, that heartbeat that we've seen, it's doing that, uh, but it's quite calm. So I went to uh, basically and gave you the freshest there, and this is the freshest shot we got from the sun. And basically. Uh, the telemetry of solar artists is everything's pretty calm except for our rural action, you know. And yeah, there's a lot of high winds today. And there is two objects close to Earth today, somewhat, uh, something like 250 meter size of objects. There's two of them. One's moving white, a little bit slower than the other one. Uh, so we'll end up seeing what earthquake action. But like I say, it's it's somewhat quiet today. There was a four point something up in Alaska, I believe, and someone said something about how it was upgraded to a 4.0 and it was a 3.4 or something I'm not sure so you'll have to check and see if that ends up panning out to be true 
Okay, because there's been some people in Alaska that have uh, on been me emailing me and I think getting on the internet and pissed, being pissed off at USGS and not saying how strong the earthquakes are up there. So there's some Alaska residents been a little bit upset because they do have a lot of volcanoes in their mountains up there. There's a lot, quite a few volcanoes up there and they've been looking active so there's a lot of people who have gotten nervous. And if anybody wants to uh, send me the link for the USGS, I'll have to go look. I got so many. I get so many emails that the email that I made the video of the gal giving me the new link for the USGS, uh, it's basically. So maybe we got this now. Okay, so there you go. But now, so basically, you're gonna have to go. This is what I've been PO'd about. Is we used to be able to see the the graphs live, and now you gotta go searching around for the shit. So if anybody can get me a link. So to save time of searching around to if you can find the graphs, the why the worldwide live graphs, and it just pisses me off. They it must be they must be getting all kinds of pissed off at the governments. The government, the Senate, the House, and Senate, they must be getting a wrath because there's got to be people that are freaking because we've showed the truth and then the idea that instrumentation and everything like that and the data now is starting to get hit. Uh, we used to be able to see the seismographs live. You know, and uh, this is getting crazy. Now this uh, shows you the travel of the sun and so forth and so on, and, and uh, you'll end up seeing. Uh, I'll give you a, a, these P70 and P74 and stuff like that. The spots on the sun and the magnetic behind it. The far side map of the sun. And those are basically remnants and so forth. Uh, they all sit there and say that there's spots on the sun, their locations on the sun, and it somewhat is. But it's also, as you see, you can see that we have, and we've showed you before, these huge remnants that are up there. So uh, let me go ahead and put that into Wolfram. Now, folks, this is what NASA and a lot of scientists have showed what a black hole, and this might actually be a video of a black hole in space that distorts. There's the sun and the supergiants, folks. These people got this tu uh, video up on tube. And as you can see, there is massive something because it's the supergiants, folks. We'll see what this, they get off this cell phone camera shot of uh, supergiants and objects in space. Because now you know that normally most all the planets follow the sun. Sometimes they're ahead. But you know this is suns from the supergiants, basically stars way out in space. And also uh, may also be getting some of the colorization of one of the other masses between us and the sun. As you see, as light is getting bent around some large objects out in space. So this is going to probably lead to a lot of bigger chemtrailing. Okay? Because the idea that this stuff is freaking people, going to freak people out. Okay? Because people will try to make it like the end of the world's coming. It's not. It's just going to freak people out. Whatever happens with any kind of daylight, darkness, or whatever we get and we go through. And people will freak out until we get back to somewhat of a normalcy. This stuff is actually going on. As you can see, this is going down the freeway. And they took the video shot. And we will come back and see what they have for uh, a disclaimer and so forth and so on. So... It's pretty much, you'd have to be somewhere at a Hollywood studio to be able to implant something like this into a shot that's going through a car window on a cell phone, okay? This stuff is all out there. So, and keep watching the sun as it goes down at night, folks. You will see some interesting stuff, okay? Because, and view the sun with, I stress this, view the sun with safe welding goggles or very, very dark sunglasses or possibly even two sunglasses on top of each other, okay? And if anybody's got some old developed film that's black, that works safely too to be able to hold over your eyes and make sure you turn away when you take that off your eyes. Protect your eyes when you're looking at the sun, okay? But there is very interesting stuff going on in our auroral and in the sky, folks. And this is not... this. 
it could be partially some static, but this is the sun, folks. Whether it's going up, uh, sunrise, I believe this is sun going down. So it's interesting.